everyone, it's Lucy from kbeautyhub.com. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you want to hear all about my skincation with Skin 1004. I had the opportunity to be their guest at Cosmoprof, which is a really big business to business beauty expo. The North American one was held in Vegas this year and so I got to go as their guest, which was absolutely amazing and I can't wait to tell you about it. My first experience with Skin 1004 was a few years ago when their ampule, this one, went super popular online. And of course I had to try it for myself to see what all the fuss is about. It's a great product. And then I got to try a few of their other things. I was pretty impressed to be honest. And then at some point earlier this year, I ended up working with them on uh, some sponsored content and I got this giant box of PR from them. I'll put a link in the description box for the unboxing Instagram reel. You can check it out. So I started using lots and lots of their products and really fell in love with the brand. I was really surprised when they contacted me weeks ago and suggested that I come to Cosmoprof as their guest and create some content for them and just experience the expo for myself. Immediately when I read that I thought, oh that sounds really cool and I'm not going to be able to make it because July is budget time at my work. I'm an accountant and we have a non-traditional fiscal year so it's not the calendar year. It is a really 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 busy time and I'm the only cost accountant for North America at my job so I do a lot of stuff. I have two kids and it's just a lot. So I thought, oh, well, that's really cool, but, you know, that's probably going to have to be a no. But I told my mom about it anyway because I was really excited just to even be asked. And my mom said, oh, you should go. You should go. We'll figure it out. You should go. So I thought, oh, maybe I could. And then this what was going to be a no became a maybe. And with the great flexibility from my family, from Skin 104 team, and from my job, I was actually able to take these three days off right in the middle of budget and go. And it was so cool and I'm so glad I did. I was in Vegas for three days. I have never been to Las Vegas before. It is not the sort of vacation that an introvert like me would normally book. However, it was super cool to see at least once. And Skin 104 uh, was really gracious with the schedule. They allowed plenty, plenty, plenty of independent alone time there. So I got to see everything I wanted to see. I got to spend time by myself. I got to drink coffee while it was still hot and didn't have to share my breakfast with my toddler, which was awesome. So day one, was mostly flying in. I, mean, I flew here from Nebraska, so it's not that long of a flight. Uh, Skin 104 met me at the airport. It was a royal treatment. It was amazing. They booked this wonderful hotel for me called the Mirage right on the Strip. That hotel has a waterfall right in the lobby. And don't get me wrong, I am not new to traveling. I've been to a lot of countries, over a dozen of them. So I've been to lots of different hotels and things, but this one impressed me. And I had the sweetest gift waiting for me in the room with a selection of their skincare. Some of them are restocks of my favorites and some of them are brand new to me. There's a bottle of wine in there and they made me feel so welcome and then they just kind of said their goodbyes and I was left to my own devices for the rest of the day. So I got to walk the strip, although it was 110 degree weather. I mean, I can't say I like recommend lots of outside time in Las Vegas this time of year, but you can mostly hop from one hotel to another hotel, go from one indoor space to the next indoor space. I walked all the way to the Bellagio and saw the gardens there and I walked to the Caesars Palace and walked all over there, which is amazing also. Everything in Vegas is just so interesting. It is fancy, but has this air of not being the real thing either. And if you've been there, you know what I mean. I've had the privilege of being to real Italy, real Rome, and but Vegas is really cool too. Like it's not the real thing, but it's its own real thing and it was it was just great. This really hot sunny weather gave me tons of opportunities to test sunscreen. I brought the new Skin 104 sunscreen with me. I wore it all over my face and my body because I thought well why not? I don't want my body skin to feel sticky or tacky or have a white cast over more traditional like United States formula. So I brought kind of the best that I had and then my welcome gift in the hotel had another tube of that sunscreen in it. So 
I had plenty to go and of course I brought other sunscreens with me as well. I tend to overpack sunscreen. But I am happy to report that I didn't burn at all, not even a sliver. I burn very, very, very quickly. So that sunscreen is wonderful. This video is not about the sunscreen. I'll have a proper review and by the time this video comes out, I might already have a review out on my blog, kbeautyharbor.com. I will put the link for that in the description box. But it's their new formula. It's just wonderful, no white cast, not sticky, absolutely lovely. And everyone I talk to, including people with much deeper skin tones than mine, have said that it's lovely and just goes on clear and everybody seems to love it. I have not seen one negative feedback on that sunscreen yet. While I was out having fun and enjoying myself and relaxing, the Skin 104 team was hard at work setting up their booth for the expo that started on day two. They were there so late at night. These are some of the most hardworking people I've met and they never once complained about it. They had to deal with a 16 hour time difference and they were still putting on their best faces. They showed up for me at the airport. They were putting on their booth and everything else. I'm just really impressed with them. By the way, one of the biggest things I learned on this trip is the proper way to say the brand name. For years, since the first time I've seen their brand name, I've been saying Skin 1004. I've said that on YouTube also. If you dig, you will find videos of me saying Skin 1004. That is not right. It is Skin 1004 and when you say it like that, it sounds like Skin Angel in Korean. And that is the proper way to say it. Because I don't speak Korean, that wasn't immediately apparent to me, but now that I am educated, I am going to work really hard to retrain myself to say their brand name correctly. Day two was the expo day. The expo itself was unlike anything I've ever seen before. I love skincare. I just published my 700th blog review. So I try a lot of stuff. I love all these things. I didn't, I couldn't even picture just how big Cosmoprof was going to be. I've been to some expos before, but they were never skincare related, and I just couldn't imagine this scale. It was amazing. It was everything from skincare to makeup to hair care. There were rows and rows of nail products and people even doing manicures right there. It was absolutely, unbelievably amazing. And I took some videos to show all of you because it is just it's, it's a thing you have to see, and the next best thing to being there in person is seeing someone else's footage. So I had a great time there. I know that I am no longer objective because I do really like Skin 104 and I like their team, but in my subjective opinion, their booth was the coolest. They had a claw machine that was custom built and you could win little, the boxes inside the claw machine were the sample or travel size ones, but if you pulled one out, the brand would actually give you a full size product, which was really cool. And then they had a roulette set up, which all seems very fitting for a Las Vegas event. I mean, they had a selfie station and rows and rows of skincare and shelves and everything else. And whoever designed their booth, I am very impressed with them because it just looked really great. Back when I was in high school, I used to be a part of the theater production. I used to design and manage and build and decorate the sets for the theater department. And so I have a very tiny idea of how much work is involved in all of this. It's a lot, a lot of work and they made it look absolutely wonderful. I actually wish I had more footage of the booth but because I was there right when the expo was going on, there were always people in the way and I couldn't really get like a clean shot of just the booth. You can check out Skin104's Instagram though, they were posting content about that as well. It didn't seem right to me to ask their potential clients to move out of the way so I could take pictures, so I didn't. So I took the shots that I could, but I think you get an idea of just the level of design and execution that they had in their booth. And other than checking out their booth and getting a couple of products, I asked them for a restock of the physical sunscreen because I love that one as well. Um, I was able to walk around and check the other booths and there were so many brands. Some of them I knew. I found the Cosa Rex booth. I found uh, some other ones. But then there were a lot of brands that I've never heard of and it was really cool to see 
so many Korean brands coming to the United States because as you know as a viewer of K-beauty content and as I know as a content creator, Korean skincare and makeup is absolutely amazing. It is so great, a lot of it is affordable, but it's still not mainstream. Most of the people I know in real life, they have no idea what Korean skincare is, unless I tell them, which I do. I tell everybody <laughs> because I want everybody to try it. But it's still not as mainstream as I think it should be. So hopefully the brands that came to Cosmoprof were able to get lots of contracts and distribution deals and come to the United States and be a little bit more widely available and popular here. A lot of brands, including Skin 104, gave me full-size products and samples, sheet masks, skincare, I got some Japanese makeup, all these things. I had bags and bags and bags and bags of things and it ended up being a little bit over 15 pounds. And the reason I know that is because I had Southwest tell me the weight of my luggage on the way to Vegas and then tell it to me again on the way from Vegas. I haven't bought anything there. The only change was all the Cosmoprof stuff. There was another content creator there that I got to meet, uh, Mehdi. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is. I've been personally following him since 2021. I mostly know him from the content he makes with Wish Trend. So he was also able to attend and it was really fun meeting him. And then after the expo, we all went to dinner, him and I and the Skin 104 team. We went to this beautiful Italian restaurant that had family-style meals. The portions are out of this world. The waiter described them as shareable, but they were enough to feed like a small family, just one portion. There's so much stuff. And again, Skin 104 was very, very thoughtful. They found a place that could accommodate different dietary preferences because I, for example, don't eat animal products. So it was really nice and, and thoughtful of them to think of that. So I just wish we could have spent more time there because it was really fun. Um, I could probably talk to these guys forever. It was just a great time. Uh, I had to bow out eventually because I had a Cirque du Soleil show to go to, The Beatles Love, which was also fantastic. I love The Beatles. It's probably one of my favorite bands ever. And it was very special to go see that show and just kind of be in the moment and not have to think about anything else, um, not worry about work or taking care of the kids or anything else and just sit there and enjoy the music and enjoy the performance. Absolutely worth it. It's just wonderful. Day three, I could do whatever I wanted. I had an evening flight. I could have gone back to Cosmoprof. I chose not to because my luggage could not fit anything else and I pretty much got to see everything I wanted to see on day one, even though I feel like I could have spent way more than five hours there. I think if I had 10 or 15 hours, I still would have probably felt like it wasn't enough time. Um, but instead I chose to go walk around some more, go to the Venetian, go back to the Caesar Palace, have a nice vegan breakfast slash lunch in this really cool cafe called Truth and Tonic. The entire menu is vegan and the service was amazing. Everything was just top notch, fantastic. And the whole time I remember thinking like, how is this my life? When I started my blog, five, six years ago, I was so afraid to start it. I don't even know why I was so scared, but before I started my own thing, I used to freelance for another blog. I used to guest write for them. I used to do some translating from Russian to English for a blogger that had to do with Korean skincare. And I used to write reviews in Russian for a big Russian um, K-beauty Facebook group. But for some reason, it was really, really scary to do my own thing. Starting my group, I thought nobody would join me. I thought it was probably going to be a failed enterprise. I even thought for a little while that the creators of the original Russian group that I was in would maybe be mad. Um, I don't know. Now that I think back on it, like none of those fears seem rational. But that's the thing with fear. Sometimes it's not really rational. It's just an emotion. And now somehow I have a group with 74,000 people in it. We just hit 74,000. And a blog with over 700 articles on it. And brands that talk to me. And it's interesting that a lot of the Skin 104 team were surprised that I have another job other than blogging, that that wasn't my main job, that content creation wasn't my main vacation. I have another actual main job um, in cost accounting and blogging and content creation is my hobby. I never thought in a million years that I would be physically, personally going somewhere to participate in something in person because, you know, I didn't even think anybody would join my group and 
people did. I'm not a very emotional person, but it, this gets me a little emotional. Um, so overall, it was a wonderful time. Those three days flew by. It, it was both nice and relaxing at times to sleep in, to kind of have these relaxed meals, to not constantly be on the lookout for the next thing that I'm needed for at home or at work. Uh, but then on the other hand, it also just flew by so fast and before I knew it, it was a memory. And the interesting thing is on the way back, on the way there, the flight was sold out and there was not a single empty spot. But on the way back, it was a half empty plane and I got a whole row of seats just to myself, which has never happened to me in all the times I've ever flown anywhere. So it was just cool and relaxing and just this little moment of quiet before I get back to the chaos that is my daily life with two kids and a job and everything else. So thank you again Skin1004, it was absolutely unforgettable, it was amazing and it's absolutely priceless to meet people in person. No amount of digital interaction can ever replace just one in-person meeting. So I'm very happy that I could meet all of you or all of you that came. Obviously that's not the entire team of the brand, but it was wonderful to meet the people who could make it and to admire your hard work with the display and everything else you did. They were so engaging too. Not every brand would interact with you when you came up to the booth. Um, you know, some people just, and it's just differences in personalities and everything else. But with Skin 104, any type of person would approach the booth, they would greet them and welcome them and invite them to try things and test them and to try the claw machine and just, you know, to do the roulette and stuff. They're just very interactive, very sociable, just fantastic. So, so, so engaging. And definitely go check out their Instagram because they had some content related to Cosmoprof there as well. And I want to thank all of you, everybody who watches my videos, everybody who is in my Facebook group, everybody who follows me on Instagram because there's no way that I would have any of these opportunities if I didn't have all of you. Because a blogger or content creator without a following, even though I don't love this word, but a blogger without an audience is just a lonely writer. Nothing matters that I do or make or create if nobody watches it, reads about it, interacts with it or anything like that. So I do want to thank all of you because you were all a key part in making this happen and giving me this opportunity and many others. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And let me know if you have any questions. If you want to know more about Cosmoprof or anything else, just leave me a comment. I try to get back to every single one of you. I will also put in the comments links to Skin104's um, store, their Amazon shop, and their Instagram, so you can go check it out. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can find me on Instagram at kbeautyhobbit, my blog kbeautyhobbit.com, and my Facebook group, Korean Beauty Fanatics. I will see you in my next video. Until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Bye.